What is up fam? Today we're going to talk about intermittent fasting which is a huge trend over the internet nowadays. Actually it's a huge trend over the past 2-3 years but I feel in India it's a term that's really picking up. So today we're going to talk about intermittent fasting, if you should do it, why should you do it and how it exactly works. Yeah, yeah, I'm so fly, look to my left, I see a spaceship. So for those of you who don't already know what intermittent fasting is, it's a diet where you fast for a certain period in the day. So there are a lot of different approaches to it. Some where you don't eat food for 20 hours in a day and eat only in 4 hours. Some where you don't eat food for 16 hours in a day and you only eat for the rest 8 hours. So a lot of diets have uh, resulted in these different approaches. The warrior diet, lean gains diet. A lot of different people have really come up with this concept of how intermittent fasting works better for fat loss and it's a better diet if you want to lose fat some people gain more muscle none of which I believe is true uh, now can you do intermittent fasting is it good yes it's a really good diet and I do sort of follow a kind of intermittent fasting approach but uh, you need to see what works for you as always the first thing and the most important thing is calories in versus calories out energy balance what matters is how many calories your body requires to maintain weight. Now if you want to lose fat or lose weight, you're going to eat less calories than that. If you want to gain weight, you're going to eat more calories than that. That is the base, that's the most important thing when it comes to nutrition and that's the first thing you want to focus on. The second thing that you would want to focus on is your macronutrients. The one nutrient you want to keep consistent at all times is your protein intake. I don't mean like consistent by when you're bulking versus you're cutting, you might change your protein intake and depends on preference again. But your protein intake is what you want to keep consistent over the period of dieting. That means even if you drop it, you know what you're doing. It shouldn't be like one day you're eating 50 grams of protein, the next day you're eating 200 grams of protein. I would advise, my personal advice would be to keep your protein intake consistent and then play around with your carbs and fats. So again, so if you're doing an IF approach, an intermittent fasting approach and planning to lose fat, but you eat in those four hours, way more calories than what your body requires, you're not going to lose fat. And I have personally done this. I started like that. I thought, hey, I have and I'm going to get lean and a lot of my clients have done that. But I can eat a shit ton of food. I can eat 10,000 calories in a couple of hours. And if you don't believe it, challenge me and we could be doing that. 10k calories in a couple of hours. Maybe one sitting. Maybe one sitting. Yeah. So again, the point is that you are going to only lose weight when you eat less food than what your body requires. Similarly, you're only going to gain weight when you eat more food than what your body requires. I just realized I say that line so fast. Yeah. yeah. So intermittent fasting is just under two to dieting. Why it is good is I feel for people who are in corporates and people who like to eat bigger meals, it works really well. Uh, so what happens with intermittent fasting is that the first thing you learn is that you're not dependent on food. What it teaches you is that meal frequency does not hamper your physique goals. I know people who look great on an intermittent fasting uh, approach. People who, who look really good, who look like athletic. I know men's physique competitors who do intermittent fasting. I also know bodybuilders who are not that big who do intermittent fasting. Which always makes me wonder, is it great if you're trying to get bigger? Uh, if you're trying to get, gain a lot of size? That's what I think intermittent fasting is not the best way to go about things. For example, if you're eating a 5,000 calorie diet or 6,000 calorie diet, which a lot of ectomorphs and hard gainers are doing, I don't think intermittent fasting is a great approach. The biggest reason being digestion. So if you're eating within a 6 hour window, you're eating those 6,000 calories uh, consecutively, no, consistently over the week, I don't think your system will handle it so well. That's when I would really like to spread those meals apart. If you are a person who does not deal well with no food in the system, and yes, for a lot of people, intermittent fasting takes a while to get used to, but if you still don't feel great and you get headaches, and a lot of my friends feel like that, they don't feel so good when they don't eat food for a certain amount of time, then again, intermittent fasting is not for you. Uh, the whole point of following a certain nutrition protocol is to improve your quality of life. So, while keeping that in mind, you also want to keep in mind the fact that maybe intermittent fasting might not work for you because it's deteriorating your quality of life. A lot of people get very predisposed to the idea of, hey, food, I'm going to eat after another 8 hours, another 6 hours, another 4 hours, and then performance at work or performance in life gets fucked. So just make sure that that is not another thing. And it's happened with me. I've, I've, I've faced these problems at some point in my life and there were times in my life where I did great on an intermittent fasting approach. 
So, as always, what I'm going to say is, it's just a, merely another tool for dieting. What matters at the end is always going to be calories in versus calories out. If you follow an intermittent fasting approach, make sure you still track your macros. And that's one idea I'm trying to push. Track your macros, guys. It's the best way to be consistent. Uh, track your macros so that you know what you need to increase or decrease when you're following a certain protocol. And be consistent with your calories in versus calories out. So if you're gaining weight, you know the drill. So the point is that you can follow an intermittent fasting approach. Just make sure you track your macros. And now people are going to ask me, how should I... How should I follow the approach? Again, it depends on you. So if you like to eat your meals towards the second half of the day, which I preferred, then do fast from the night before to the evening after. And maybe have a meal before your workout and the rest of the meals after your workout in that six hour window. Maybe train empty stomach faster in the evening and eat your meals after that. What you need to understand is what works for me might not work for you and most probably will not. I'm a unique, different person and I react to foods differently. I like foods that are different from you and my body digests foods differently. For example, I'm fructose intolerant, so I can't eat a lot of fruit, but you probably can. Does that mean because Tarun doesn't eat fruit, I should not eat fruit? No, it does not. Now, I love eating certain amounts of carbs before my pre-workout meal, for my pre-workout meal. Does that mean you should do that as well? No, it does not. It matters on you, what you prefer, how your body reacts to foods, how your body reacts to anything. And that in itself is the answer to almost all your questions regarding nutrition and training. If you ask me a question that's direct, it's, it really depends on how your body is, how your body responds to certain things. So keep that in mind, guys. IF, yes, go ahead. If you want, if you feel great on it, go ahead. Is it going to help you lose more body fat than a normal diet? No, it will not. What is going to help you lose body fat is less calories. The advantage of running an IF is I feel for some people they feel good when they eat bigger chunks of food in one meal in one go and I personally do that as well and I don't follow an IF approach. I follow a sort of intermittent fasting approach where I eat more protein throughout the day and more fat and carbs towards the evening and that's mainly because of my meals and my preference but more about me what I follow on my website brownbystheris.com you can go check out the website where I'm talking about exactly what I do uh, this is more about what works for you and what you guys need if you guys want to know more about me join my website or ask me below I might make a video on that but just now I'm really trying to push out information which might help you guys so I think that's all for intermittent fasting if you have more questions more queries please comment below we'll get back to you if you guys are liking the series hit that like button it does motivate us to put out more content like this and we'll get back to you guys very soon. That's all guys. Talk to you guys very soon.